Hey, Adrian here, and in this Amy Broker tutorial, I wanna show you a really cool feature that you can use when you're developing single instrument trading systems, trading systems that trade just one ticker. Most of my systems trade a whole portfolio of stocks simultaneously, but uh, this week I've been working on a new mean reversion system to trade the QQQ uh, ETF, and um, I developed that system. At the end of the day, I'm really happy with it, and I wanted to know what other ETFs might that system work on? Where else could I deploy it? Because the results are pretty cool. Let me show you what I got so far. I developed this whole system on the QQQ, and then I realized that if I trade it on the TQQQ, which is the, like the, um, the leveraged version of the Qs, uh, the, um, the system generated much better profits. So I'm just gonna show you the backtest report here. Um, and here's the uh, compounding equity curve. So it's, um, yeah, it's kind of nice. It's not the best system I've ever seen in the world, but for a mean reversion system on US stocks, uh, not too bad. Um, the drawdown profile, the drawdown's a little high here, but again, it's a mean reversion system on an ETF. I'm not expecting it to shoot the lights out. I just, uh, you know, want something that, that works and is stable over time. Had an annual return of 19%, drawdown of 40, which is a little high for comfort but the car over MD is um, 0.47. Not sure if you can see that, it's a little bit small. There it is, 0.47. Um, so as part of a portfolio of uh, systems, this is something that, um, that certainly has some potential. The interesting thing about it, if I can show you this again, is it's only invested 12% or 13% of the time and it makes 19% return. So the risk adjusted returns actually over 148%, which is, uh, which is really quite compelling, right? Certainly compared to um, compared to buy and hold, so um, that's what I've uh, that's what I developed for the TQQQ. Now my question was, where else could I apply it? And what I want to do is show you a little trick in Amy Broker, um, so you can apply a single instrument system to many different uh, tickers simultaneously and get all of the results at once. So what you want to do is um, first of all, we're going to back test on a whole uh, watch list. Now I'm gonna back this, I've got this watch list called US Sector ETFs and there's nine of them in here. It's all the XL ETFs. So XLB, XLE, XLF and so on. And um, I'm gonna back test on all of those. And what you wanna do is come into analysis settings, come down to report and usually this is unticked. Generate detailed reports for each symbol in individual back tests, slow. And the reason it says slow is because it is slow. It does take some time, but let's just tick it and, um, and then we see what happens. Now, instead of pressing backtest, what you want to do is click the little drop down arrow and go individual backtest. And what that's going to do is test the system against each of those tickers one at a time because this is a single instrument system. And it's going to produce the backtest reports for all of them individually. Now, you can't just press the report button here, you've got to go to the report explorer. So you'll click on that. And uh, what we're going to do is sort it from. Um, this is, I've run 27,500 back tests since I've cleared this, if you can believe it. And you can see here, all of the um, back test reports for the different sector ETFs have been produced. Now, um, so uh, from here up, what we can do is have a look at each of them individually. The best one is clearly XLK, and uh, that's because that's very similar to the QQQ, and the equity curve looks pretty amazing. Um, this is exactly, uh, well not exactly, but it's very close to the ETF that it was designed on. So I would expect that it works very well there. Absolutely compelling, equity curve is great. Um, the annual return is 9%, but the risk adjusted return is 61. Let me just zoom in so you can see that, there you go. Um, and the car of MDD was 0.41. So that's okay, it's a, it's a good benchmark. Let's look at some of the others. You'll see here, I'll just highlight them all again. Most of them are not that great, right? The compound annual returns go from 3%, 1%, 2%, 0, 9, 0, 3, basically 0, 2. So most of them aren't very interesting, but this one, um, XLB, is uh, potentially interesting. I'll just uh, open that one up, and let's look at the equity curve. Yeah, look, it's it's not great, but it's um, it's got some potential, and maybe if you could fine tune it to that particular instrument, you might be able to make something of it. Um, so what is the XLB? Let's just go to the chart. XLB, uh, it's the material sector ETF, okay? So um, that is a quick hack to allow you to backtest your single instrument systems over many different instruments simultaneously and get all of the performance reports. Now when you're done with this, 
um, my suggestion is you go back to your analysis window, go to the settings, go to the report tab, and uncheck this detailed generate detailed reports for each symbol in backtest because it is slow and it does clog up your computer with lots of unnecessary reports if you don't need it. Um, so if you're doing an exploit, a um, investigation, you want to find where else can I apply this uh, this system? What other instruments will it work on? That's a great way to do it. Doesn't require any extra code. So I hope this Amy Broker tutorial has helped you. If you uh, need help with Amy Broker, you got any other questions? Comment below this video. And uh, if you're watching this in the members area, then ask any questions in the forum and I'll help you out. That's all for this video. Bye for now. Thank you.